hey guys welcome and welcome back to my channel today is a beautiful day and you know us we want to we like to walk around i'm in cape town in south africa and today we are walking around cape town showing you around showing you the beauty of cape town so this is my neighborhood and i'm going to show you some other neighborhoods so it's just a spontaneous walk so I hope you're going to enjoy this video. If you do, please give your girl a thumbs up. And if you don't know, my name is Megs. I do cooking and lifestyle content. Yeah, remember to subscribe if you're new to this channel. So let's go. So guys, if you didn't know, Cape Town is the it's one of the most developed cities in Africa. Probably the most developed in Africa and also in southern africa so i just want to, to show you the beauty of cape town cape town is beautiful guys cape town is beautiful the neighborhoods are beautiful you can see these roads these roads are in the in the neighborhoods look how well they are it's just a beautiful beautiful city with a lot of scenery places so i just want to show you around yeah we are just taking a walk showing you things we we are now in winter time and yeah winter is just starting and today is just a warm day it's not windy and i just thought to myself why not why not go out and show you guys and you know us guys you know in this channel we like to take walks that's how i can get to show a lot of things guys when you are walking you get to see a lot of hidden things rather than when you are driving sometimes so yeah let's walk together so guys from here you can see the perfect view of the Chebo mountain Chebo mountain is one of the seven wonders of the world so this is the most popular thing for Cape Town because Cape Town is just over the Table Mountain so this is the Table Mountain and we need to cross here and and right here we are on the bridge this is the bridge and you can see the cars down there look at the beautiful roads of cape town south africa and some beautiful trees that are along the roads this is the main road and this is the other side of the bridge so we are right here and we are still walking yeah so come with me on this road that we are on you see these trees that are along this road this tree these trees that are along the road these are water berries water berries there are edible berries i don't know if people around here know that these berries can you can actually eat these berries in zimbabwe they are called wute wute so all these trees along this road they were made by design you can see that they are all aligning and they are actually water berries you can actually eat them all these trees right there <laughs> it's a school day today so the roads are quiet and people are at work as well but this is a main road so of course you get some traffic so these are the beautiful homes so this neighborhood is called rondebosch so we are in rondebosch right here you can see there are traffic lights that are really working and 
people observe these traffic lights because those are the traffic lights we are at an intersection and yeah we are just walking beautiful houses around the traffic lights here i'm seeing i'm talking about the traffic lights because believe me guys in in africa there are countries that don't have these traffic lights especially in neighborhoods in neighborhoods you only find the traffic lights in the towns like in the main towns or yeah i mean in the main towns where the cbds are but in neighborhoods you don't see any traffic lights so that's why I'm saying you can see that there are traffic lights here in Cape Town because it's a development especially in Zimbabwe there are places that I know that they, that don't have these traffic lights especially in neighborhoods this is just a neighborhood it's not a CBD at all and we have traffic lights you get my point what okay look at this beautiful home right here beautiful homes in cape town beautiful palm trees it's just gorgeous here beautiful beautiful homes look at that one look at that i don't know if the camera is doing justice but this place looks gorgeous that house Ooh. that house guys if you can't hear me clearly this is the main road so it can be very busy because of traffic but yeah i'll try to be as loud as i can be so that you can hear what i'm saying we are in cape town south africa and i'm showing you guys the beauty of cape town the most developed city in africa how is that cape town is beautiful guys it is beautiful and i'm sure there are other places around the world i mean in africa which are also beautiful and we are going to see them because on this channel we are going to travel just wait and see and keep on watching the videos okay because this is cape town you may not know cape town you may be somewhere else in the world and you always wonder how africa looks this is africa guys africa people live in houses you see these houses they are not in trees at all <laughs> people have actual houses this is africa and there are roads and you see the traffic lights that i was talking about this is just a neighborhood guys it's not a central business district it's a neighborhood where people live but there are traffic lights and they observe them very very well because i'm telling you in africa there are some countries that don't have these traffic lights in the neighborhood even in towns in town there are small towns especially where i come from zimbabwe small towns you can see just one traffic light or two traffic light two traffic lights only so that's why i'm saying cape town is the most developed country in africa okay we are in rondebosch in rondebosch cape town rondebosch cape town and today it's a bean day uh, do we can we call it a bean day a garbage day where the garbage truck comes and collect the garbage you can see here there are garbage bins outside 
look at the beans they're actually beautiful beans well organized i'm telling you <laughs> Then <laughs> this may be very funny but i'm telling you you may not find these things in some other countries look at these beans they are all numbered according to the houses and there is a big truck of course that is going to come and collect this garbage away there's a school right here it's called mickey micklefield school micklefield school so that's a school right there but unfortunately we can't see inside because the walls are high and yeah for privacy because it's a school right so that, that's a school and you see the beans outside like i said and the other things about this other thing about this neighborhood guys look at these trees <laughs> look at the, these are the cape town suburbs the suburbs of cape town look at these trees look how beautiful they are the, the leaves are falling because they have fallen because it's now winter time but they still look good oh my goodness i dropped my glasses <laughs> i dropped my sunglasses okay david's going to fix them for me so this is how they look the trees the nature just in the look let me go in the road is there any, are there any cars coming let me show you look how look what i mean look gorgeous we can't see most of the houses because the walls are high but i think guys i hope you are still enjoying this video okay I want to show you something guys so after the beans have been collected there are people who will come to wash the beans after they've been collected like this truck here they are washing the beans just making sure that they are nice and good hi So it's like a service it's a company that offers a service of washing the beans after the the, the garbage truck people come and take the garbages so these people they come afterwards and clean the beans this is Ron the Bosch in Cape Town the most developed city in 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 africa <laughs> in africa <laughs> look at this look at that house just across the road how huge it is my goodness just so beautiful this is Ronde Bosch in Cape Town South Africa there's some construction going on there construction look at this houses guys beautiful beautiful homes beautiful beautiful homes those are the bean guys that i was talking about just across the road there washing the beans look at this look at this wow what a wow
you know guys this is just an inspiration for me for life to work hard and harder in life so that one day i may be able to build a beautiful home for myself because that's the goal but one day i want to create a space a beautiful space for myself after working very very hard so if you're enjoying this video by supporting me just press the th uh, like button give me a thumbs up and if you like the content you can as well subscribe take me to 10k subscribers all right because we are on our road to 10k no limited limitations right here so this is some kind of a forest what is this i don't know what's happening here but there, is, there are a lot of trees and we are still in around the bush cape town we are taking a walk we love taking walks right here we love taking walks because i can get to show you things guys like these yeah i wonder what's happening here is, is this a golf co golf club what okay okay <laughs> so guys this is a school this is a school called rondebosch boys this is a school right here the one that we are passing it's a school rondebosch boys so here in cape town they put schools in the middle of the neighborhoods i always see these schools in the middle of the neighborhoods let me know if that also happens in your country wherever you are if they if you have schools in the middle of the neighborhoods so this is round the bush round the bush boys it's a high school right high school cape town south africa the most developed city in the world so in this channel if you're new to this channel i usually do some cooking it's a cooking and lifestyle con lifestyle channel in the lifestyle segment i show you around the places that i live where i go what i think may be interesting to you so i live in cape town and i just think that there are a lot of people in the world out there that always wonder how cape town looks how africa looks yeah so this is africa this is actually africa if you didn't know how if you always wondered how africans live this is how we live <laughs> this is the kind of life we live and this is actually a neighborhood it's a sub suburban neighborhood so i'll be taking you to more places in cape town south africa so that you guys can see different types of areas in cape town so this is around the bush boys it's a school very nice schools in cape town <laughs> very nice schools So guys, point of correction, this Rondebosch boys is actually a high school and a primary school. So there are small kids and older kids that go to the school that we are at right now, that we are passing through. Yeah, so it's a primary and high school combined. So can you see the mountain guys? The table, the table mountain. You can see this mountain wherever you are in Cape Town. <laughs> it's just a landmark for Cape Town. You see it anyway, any direction. You see the table view, table, table mountain. There's some parking area here for the school, of course and there is also a park there i'm going to show you the university city of cape town 
when we get closer because right now it's not that um, you can't really see it so there's a park there's a park there you see where there are a lot of trees there's a park inside where you can go and chill if you have pets a dog you can actually go with your dog there yeah so usually just go if you have kids you can go with your kids to play in the park even if you are an adult you can just go and chill in the park so that's the table mountain and if you see the red roof I don't know if you can see from here it's not showing right but they are, there is University of Cape Town there by the red roofs on the mountain there is also a market here with some vegetables it's actually a truck with some vegetables let's see what they have hi how are you good thanks right so it's just a truck that comes and people can buy some fruits and vegetables Cape Town the most developed city in Africa and even though I haven't been to most places in Africa I think Cape Town is really developed <laughs> it is a beautiful city see the table mountain coming out from everywhere from everywhere please let me know in the comments where you are watching this video from please let me know let me know and also suggest any places that you want me to take you with here in cape town that you want to see guys and i would make sure that i do that for you please and this is a church this is another main road what's the name of the this road Muna. This is Muna Road in Rondebosch, Cape Town. This is Muna Road, and there is a church right here that that I want to show you. This church here. Let's see the name of the church. What do you think this church is? Take a guess. This is the infrastructure of the church, and the name is. St. Thomas Anglican Church So this is an Anglican Church In Rondebosch St. Thomas Anglican Church Please guys give me a thumbs up give give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying it Let me know what you liked about this video feel free to comment feel free to put a sweet comment all right <laughs> to leave a sweet comment i mean okay we are taking a walk we are taking a walk of course you know as we like to walk <laughs> we love to walk that's how i can show you things show you around guys show you around and i love it i just love picking this walk as well i love it for myself as well and for you guys of course because you are my guys my guys you love this content and you're going to give me a thumbs up and you're going to subscribe to this channel and take us to 10k subscribers and right here there is this place here oh you see as much as i live here in cape town some of these places i don't even know so this is a school it's a college bishops diocesan college here so this is a college wow it looks good I like the white and the thatched, thatched roofing. So 
so this is a college right here by the corner and just on the other corner that's where the church is the Ang St. Thomas Anglican Church is Oh, is it? Okay, guys, uh, there is an information that I've just been told here. Yeah? <laughs> I need to tell you. So, this college th th that we saw here, yeah, that we are seeing here, yeah? it's called Bishop Court. I'm being told that it's actually, if we, we try to. <laughs> It is quite a good it is a good college so if you want to compete with some Zimbabwean schools it's actually the same with Peter House if you are in Zimbabwe you should know Peter House Peter House is one of the pretty prestigious schools in Zimbabwe it's actually at the top top schools so that Bishop Court College as compared to Peter House in Zimbabwe is the same that's what i've been told let me know in the comments if this is true because my source sometimes mm, <laughs> my source of information so yeah there is this uh, area where people can come and do their shopping let's go there's a garage there there's a service station and there's this area where people can come and do their shopping it's a kind of a drive through and there's a market here people selling their art crafts market. and this side like i told you there are some mini shops that looks like just a drive through and people around this area the around the bush can come and shop here pharmacies there is quick spa quick spa is a supermarket here in cape in south africa so this when they see quick spa it means it means a mini spa not a big shop There is some car wash going on there. Ah uh, no, not car wash. Castles, castles. Point of correction. Castles going on there. Cars that been sold. Yeah, let's keep on walking. It's just a beautiful day today, guys. It's warm. Usually in Cape Town, it rains in winter, so we get some rains, and it's so cold. Usually when it's raining, of course. And today is just a beautiful day it's warm it's not windy so why not show you guys around take you new around Cape Town South Africa showing you the beauty of Cape you know Cape Town is just beautiful even the people here are just so friendly they are so friendly guys it's just a beautiful country there's some road works going on there i know is, th is that a road thing going on i don't know but there's some things something that's getting fixed are we crossing today oh we are crossing now wow they are crossing are we still crossing Run for my life! Run! <laughs> oh, guys, this this Ronda Bosch crochet croquet croquet cro Please let me know how to spell what, what, croquet club. I don't know what it is about, but we'll see when we get to the other side. <clears throat> So 
so this is a uh, croquet 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 i don't know guys <laughs> i don't know so this is the how the place looks it's actually a sport a sport i'm not familiar with it so yeah Dave is saying it's a rich people's sport <laughs> and there is there is also a road here that says croquet lane <laughs> croquet lane mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So these are not uh, like an actual just in a long house it's it's a complex these houses here yeah? a complex victoria house okay we are approaching a school another school it's called st joseph's marist college that side there is a school again so in st joseph's marist college you can i can actually see school children outside in the school grounds or on the school grounds oh okay we are still walking in ronde bush cape town the most developed city in africa in southern africa if you know any other developed city rather than cape town like with these with these developments that i'm showing please let me know in africa please i would love to know and one day because it's coming guys we are get going there we are traveling traveling physically to see the places for now let's enjoy cape town let me show you let me show you where we are and the places that you may always wonder how they look so yes yeah, just a pavement this is not the main road you know you see how well it's done besides these leaves that are on the ground look at just the pavement where people can just the pedestrian pavement <laughs> they are just so well done and this is the bin truck the garbage truck <laughs> remember when i was telling you about the garbage truck this is the garbage truck and you see how Cape Town is well maintained you see those ladies just across the road sweeping sweeping the road sweeping the pavement removing the leaves it's a clean city they are cleaning can you see them they are cleaning up the city and there are other ladies just in front of us we are approaching them right now it's a beautiful clean city and this is the garbage truck and there's another what's the there should be a club here yeah. but there's this edge you can't see you can't see it clearly So this is St. Joseph's College, the entrance. St. Joseph's Marist College. So this that's the entrance there. And I can hear school kids here. Yeah, I think there's also a school. Yeah, there is a school here yeah, by the corner. You can see kids. Unfortunately, I and there is another church here. <laughs> What's the name of this church? There is a church. You see, there is no reason for you to be in a neighborhood like this and not go to church where there are just churches around. <laughs> so yeah, 
it's Rondebosch United Church. This is a church right there. Rondebosch United Church with Holy Circus. I think there is a kindergarten also on the stage. I hear kids playing in the in the grounds. I can't show you the kids because just for private. Okay, I want to show you something here, guys. Okay, can you see the table mountain? Let me zoom it for you. Let me zoom it for you. So, on the table mountain, there is a dev the devil's peak. So that's the devil's peak. I want to zoom it for you. so right there I've just zoomed and if you can see those rooftops by the mountain the rooftops that's University of Cape Town UCT that's where it is so let's keep on going Let's keep on going. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. <laughs> and we are approaching the bridge again. There's a bridge. And just below the bridge, there is a railway line I'm going to show you. Wow, guys, look at the majestic mountain. The majest the nature, the bit of nature. It's just beautiful let me know in the comments the places that you want me to show you here in Cape Town South Africa and I will go for you I will go I will take a bus I will take a train I will walk I will run just for you my guys because this is all for you and believe me guys I love this I enjoy this I love showing you around I love this adventure this is also in oh there's a train passing ah oh, guys you just missed a train passing that would be epic and this these are also some complexes uh, like where people where people stay where people live this is called gothic court gothic court look at this and there are other complexes you see where people live housing this is Cape Town housing let me show you the the train station oh the train is still there let me run so that you guys can see let me run for you I told you I'll run for you guys can you see it's living oh my goodness it's living <laughs> there it is there it is it's living there it is can you see it so that's the train can you hear the sound there's a train station here and this this is the rural line there's a train station and that's the train living there there's also a church here again i told you this oh it's not a church what am i saying it's a library <laughs> <laughs> it's a library my bad sorry guys it's a library there's a library here if you are a bookworm you can come and study right here it's run it's in Rwanda bush in cape town south africa and look at this housing is this a house is this a residential area look at this housing guys this is a residential area and it looks it's looking so good this is cape town and this is the library if you are a if you are a student if you like to study and you know what run the bush this area where we are run the bush that's where the uct university of cape town students mostly live this is their their area their residents most of them so i'm sure they come to this library to study as well so this is a um, a students students area you see a lot of university students in Rwanda Bosch in Cape Town South Africa this is another complex where people can live 
housing in Cape Town looks gorgeous, but the rentals, guys, can be very stiff, can be expensive here in Cape Town. The rentals, I'm telling you, the places are gorgeous. I think, I think it's just because it's a touristy area. That's why the rentals are expensive. And this place is called the Ronde Bosch. The Ronde Bosch, this area, yeah. Okay, so we need to cross. Are we crossing? We need to cross. This area of Cape Town is very safe, guys. It's very safe. You know, when people say South Africa is not a safe place, there are places that are safe in South Africa, like Rondebosch, Cape Town. This is a safe place to be. This is a safe place, I can tell you. So we are approaching the main road and on this main road there are some shops there are some shops here yeah? flower market oh there's a change up there <laughs> there are some flowers being sold here yeah? And let's check them out in case you may like some flowers you don't know that road. hello hi in case you don't know that people here in Ronde Bosch sell flowers some beautiful flowers hi how are you um well I'm just documenting so how much well for maybe if I'm a youtuber so so maybe someone in Cape Town may want to know this place how much is this bunch 150 so guys a bunch of roses here it's 150 right okay any color of roses for 10 roses it's 150 thank you sir thank you so that's how it is My, why is my front camera still on? Ah. Okay, this is the main road. <coughs> so this main road, guys is for the southern suburbs this road will take you to the cape town cbd this road right here if you follow it where we are going this side you will definitely hi how are you fine thanks how are you hi my name is patricia and i'm so of fine i'm living here as well as but it is also open to my living i'm not having a job yet ah. but you try to find my best and doing something that you can give me power so that i can also improve myself to pick my recovery okay getting away from the living of outside i'm asking people money like small change <laughs> small change unfortunately we don't have small change at the moment yeah. can i ask what is about this is my YouTube. I am a YouTuber. It's internet, so I'll be documenting wherever I am, telling people what's happening around country in this in Cape Town. Yeah. So, so this is all about. It's for my documentation, my life. Okay. Yes. What is your name? Maggie. Megs. Meg. My name is Nomsa Matkant. Nomsa. Nomsa Matkant. Okay. Patricia. Okay. Beautiful is what you're doing, baby, because it's important. Like, they don't know yeah, yeah. so i'll be showing them around and i can actually show people around places they don't know and things around they don't yes. know and yeah. also into our community the environment yes <laughs> yes beautiful as you created yeah. us you made it us yeah the beautiful skills that you have even the talent that you gave yeah. even you yeah. that you go around and i create this world yes and tell the people how how it is 
live into the, our living that we live. Yes. So that they can know. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. Thank and you. Also, so please maybe some of other time maybe into your program of the program. Okay. Yeah. Come and also to know about what is homeless. What is oh yeah. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Yes, I'm definitely going to do that. Okay, I wish you all the best. Eh? Okay, thank you. Bye. Okay, guys, so that lady is actually homeless. She was she's just looking for is looking for some some money and so she's looking, she's looking guys for some money. So yeah. That's the other hardships of homeless people here in Cape Town. I'm going to do um, I'm going to do an episode about that sometime. But we are here in Rondebosch. <laughs> so guys, this is a mall. Do you want to go that side? You're looking at that side. Okay, let's show the people around this mall quickly. So this is a mall around the, around the Bosch main shopping mall. Let me show you inside. So down here there's pick and pay. And we are going up the escalators. And on this corner there's a restaurant. Ah, it's actually kawaii. They sell vegetarian, vegetarian stuff. Food, I mean, and there is gym, a gym here. This is a gym. So, for people who are into fitness, you can see this is a gym. And this side, there is this bar that's called Down South Food Bar. It's actually a food bar. This one is a kind of a restaurant and a bar at the same time. There's this outside area. Is there anything else? Okay, so this is just a small mall. A small mall, the gym. There's a gym here. A restaurant, a bar right here. And down there is pick and pay. We can pay the supermarket and Kawaii. Kawaii is a restaurant. So we are going out. So you see these motorbikes here, yeah, these are for deliveries. People would do deliveries, food deliveries, Uber if you know Uber. There's Uber Moto that do deliveries, Uber Eats. So this is where they park. And this is a U University of Cape Town shuttle bus. So the students from, from the university take this bus to go wherever they want. They have to have a student card, card to board the bus. So this is a student bus. to cross and it's kind of busy so this uh this are public transport in cape town this is a taxi van right here taxi van where exactly are we going i think we're going to go more into the country oh it used to be out here so guys here we are looking for a bookshop a bookshop Dave Dave wants to buy something or wants to look for a book for a certain book so that's what we are looking so they there are some restaurants this this is a restaurant in a bar bar area restaurants you see the side and mini shops so students can come here so that gym that I was telling you about, it's called Zone 
fitness zone fitness it's up there zone fitness and they also have mr price <laughs> mr price <laughs> mr price clicks so this is just a student area student neighborhood some fashion shops see the motorbikes that i was talking about these are for delivery guys so this is rondebosch in cape town the most developed city in africa and rondebosch is actually a student's place it's a university area so you find a lot of students around here it has some restaurants supermarkets mini shops are we crossing here so guys the bookshop that we are looking for it's called van shek van shek it used to be around where where mr price where but it has moved to a mall that we are going now this is a fishery oh it looks so good i'm so hungry <laughs> i think we have to come back to this one i'm definitely hungry so we are going to the mall to the other mall where we are looking for the bookshop this is ronda bosch around the bush you can see there is also a barber shop here by the corner a barber shop if you want to get a haircut you can come here mm, it looks so fancy inside looks so fancy inside so we are going to riverside mall this is riverside mall on the side is Debonair's pizza you can buy pizza there and it's my first time to enter this mall this is my first time and there's some stairs stairs we are on the corner so the bookshop that we are looking for is right ahead of us this is called Van Schack Van Schack bookstore so there is a certain book that we are looking for so they have different types of books yeah this is the smaller shop i know they used to have a bigger shop before they used to move here this is quite small but they have books if you are a student you may want to know okay guys we are out unfortunately they don't have the book that dave is looking so you have to check online at the bigger shops let me just give you a small tour of this area so there is stairs here by this corner stairs in debonese and there is like an eye i i uh, i shop here optimet optometrist <laughs> okay and there is a pet shop if you have a pet or a dog um, or like for, like a dog or another pet they sell pet stuff here yeah? the crazy store this is another barber area Baba shop. Baba shop. 
Mm, and yeah, they do nails, ladies. Okay. Uh, what? Uh, this is an art shop. An art shop. <laughs> and here at this corner, there's Postnet. Okay, let's go back. Is there anything that you want to sign? I want to take a look at this nail bar that I saw here. That's this nail bar. <laughs> You know, ladies, these are my nails. It's time I do something about these nails. You see, there's this beautiful nail bar here. I want to check it out. Hi. Uh, how much is it to do jelly nails like this one that I have? It's 165. 165. 165. Wow, okay. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. But I will I'll definitely come back. It's a beautiful place. Thank you. Guys, I'm definitely coming back to this area. It looks so gorgeous. I'm going coming back to get these nails done. Did you see how how good it looks? It looks girly, the pink. It's just a girlish vibes in there <laughs> definitely and the price is so good the price i like the price so much okay guys so let's keep on rolling i need to we need to, maybe we should go to that fishery place because i'm hungry now i want to eat something all right change of plans guys we decided to go to check us we need to buy something there Checkers. Checkers is a supermarket here in Cape Town, South Africa. Oh, there's more to see up here. In fact, there's Spur. I didn't know that there's Spur. Spur is a restaurant. And yeah, Spur is a restaurant. And there's Pick and Pay clothing right here. I was just going to miss this. And on this corner, there's also a restaurant. This is Checkers. Checkers supermarket and right here they have this beautiful coffee shop where people can come in but it's actually uh, uh what's the name of this coffee shop you know it guys you know the name i'm going to tell you just now starbucks <laughs> that's starbucks yeah starbucks is a coffee shop so this is Checkers Supermarket. <clears throat> Sorry. Mm, they have some beautiful food going on here. This is some beautiful, nice food. Checkers is one of our favorite supermarkets. We love to shop here in Checkers. Sorry about my hair, guys. <laughs> it's now going the wrong way. We love to shop here in Checkers. I didn't know that they saw some sushi here at Checkers, at this particular Checkers. <laughs> they actually have a sushi bar here going on. And there is this conveyor brought for the sushi. You see? There's some more variety here. Oh, wow. 
this is new to me i didn't know that this checkers in ronde bosch sells sushi this is how it looks outside so you see it's starbucks guys the coffee shop name is starbucks <laughs> So guys i'm going to end this video right here if you did enjoy it please give it a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel you can as well subscribe we love to walk around showing places showing new places around here in cape town south africa and this is cape town the most developed city in africa until next time bye